Hey guys, it's the Faces Beanie, and here's a quick recap of Tenocon 2022. Starting off with a couple of deluxe skins, we saw Titania Deluxe, and a second look at Zaku Deluxe. as well as a first in-game look at Protea Deluxe. Of course, we saw Korra Prime as well, which has since been released in-game. We then saw a couple of new Warframes. The next Warframe to be released will be Styanax. This one wields a javelin and probably is inspired by ancient Greek soldiers. Styanax will arrive with its own animated short. Then the highly anticipated Wolf Warframe. We got a look at the concept art. It's still a work in progress, but we can probably expect it late this year. For the crossplay spammers in chat, it's on the way. Crossplay community testing is coming soon, and cross safe will follow thereafter. Console players can look out for a special Barrow appearance on July 29th that will sync his inventory with PC players, as this is crucial for crossplay. Meanwhile, Warframe Mobile is in the works and is being tested behind the scenes by family and friends of the devs. Now for the next Warframe update, Veilbreaker. This follow-up update to the new war will feature the return of Carl 175, Archons, along with Styanax and Protea Deluxe. This update will be out soon on all platforms. The granddaddy reveal for Tenocon 2022 was of course the Dewey gameplay reveal. Now I suggest you watch the whole thing, it's about 20 minutes long and thoroughly enjoyable. Basically a new open world with a horse with a roguelike setting in which you respawn every time you die. You can unlock new respawn points across the map and you get to pick your attributes to set up your build for each session. We also got a look at some new melee gameplay as well. This comes in winter 2022, so we'll be waiting a while longer. We also got a look at DE's new project, Soul Frame, a free-to-play open-world MMO with a focus on melee combat and PvE. Development has just begun. The full trailer is in the description down below. And finally, following on from Soulframe, we close a chapter for Warframe. Steve is moving on to work on Soulframe, and so Rebecca has been promoted to Creative Director of Warframe. The open letters to the community have been linked down below. That's about it. Hope to help you out. This is the Faces Beanie signing out.